English translation, 91st Contact, Thursday, 17th November, 1977, 1724, yes. It has not fallen easily for me to call you, because you have not paid attention to my calls for a long time. Easily possible, because I have a problem that I just cannot solve, which is why I am still burdened by it. Sure, and I also know which problem you cannot solve. In this respect, I should also give you some explanations that Quetzal gave me to pass on to you. How would you know my problem? You really cannot know everything. That is of correctness, but in this case we are actually very well informed. Namely, so far, you have an unresolved problem with the animal that you have totally eliminated. Eliminated is not the right word, but you are right. With the best will in the world, I just cannot figure out whether I did the right thing or not. This damn problem has been on my mind day and night ever since. At first, it seemed to me whether I had acted correctly, but now suddenly, for days, it is no longer clear to me whether I was perhaps not subject to a deception, whereupon I would then have done wrong. That is why I am supposed to give you some explanations from Quetzal, because he was watching the whole thing last Saturday afternoon when he was monitoring the area around your center. Maybe to get some clues about the whereabouts of the Signer, that is why I came here today to inform you that we have not been able to find any significant data about their whereabouts yet. However, we were able to ascertain with certainty that their ship has not yet left the earthly space, so it is still somewhere camouflaged and shielded in a hiding place. Father tried to find out on their home star who and why they came to the Earth, but he was told that the current whereabouts of four ships of the Signer were unknown, so no information could be given in this regard. That it could only be one of these four ships was clear because exact coordinate messages were recorded from all other units and none were even close to the SOL system or in the SOL system. According to the Signer, the four ships with unknown whereabouts are older expedition ships, which unfortunately only have very limited means of remote communication on a technological basis. This means that the Signer here on Earth cannot communicate with their home planet precisely because their means of remote communication cannot bridge the distance of 2,000 light years. The maximum range of their devices is unfortunately less than 1,400 light years. But then they would be able to make a mental telepathic connection. Unfortunately, this is not possible for them because the Signer only master the primary telepathy, not the spirit telepathy. Oh, so then they are planet-bound with this telepathy form. But there is one thing that does not make sense to me about the whole thing. Why do not the twits get in touch with you? Why are they trying to come to me or to come into contact with me of all things? There is a very precise explanation for this. The Signer represent a human race whose senses are highly sensitized to swinging waves from outside their own bodies, but only in planetary or ship internal regions. Thus, they are able to receive and analyze swinging waves of all life forms. And here lies the answer to your question. The Signer have a form of government on their homeworlds, which your Earth humans designate as herd instinct, but which is nevertheless led by the strongest of the herd. So this order is a resemblance of a herd order in animals, the strongest of which exercises the position of the leading animal. Since the Signer had held this form of government since time immemorial, they changed it in the course of the last millennia only to the extent that they replaced the strongest of their kind with the most knowledgeable in spiritual matters, who thus was also the one who emits the highest swinging waves, which is synonymous with the most powerful swinging waves. Thus, it is only natural that on foreign worlds, when they visit such worlds intentionally or unintentionally, the Signer search for their kind and their form of government, also for the highest spirit knowledge-based swinging waves of this world, and if necessary, turn to it when they need it.
And through your spiritual teaching, also known as creation energy, based learning and your knowledge, you are the person on the earth who gives off this highest swinging wave from himself. This again means for the signer that, for them, you are that form of life on this world, in respect of that mentioned, above which no other form of life stands. This alone can be the reason why they try to connect with you. But this is crazy. So according to them, I should be something like the big herd boss of the earth? That is crazy. Sure, according to your terms, yes, but not according to the signer's terms, because they think in their own forms. Nevertheless, there are some things that do not make sense to me. For example, why these twits do not turn to you or to the other groups because all of you have decidedly several times higher swinging waves than me. Your thoughts are very logical, but you forget that we have to leave our swinging waves in our station or in our ships to be absorbed by them in order not to influence the Earth human beings through them. Are those swinging waves that I know, for example, as sympathy and antipathy? This is only partly correct because there are other factors contained in it. One of these, for example, is the one who shapes the pros or cons in a life form when it enters such a swinging wave. If, for example, a teaching of the truth is spread by a life form of truth, then its swinging wave spreads very quickly and very intensely. If now other life forms find the truth in this teaching themselves, with which they themselves strive for the truth, then they become available for the swinging wave reception of the swinging wave of the respective swinging wave sender. As a result, the swinging wave receivers calibrate themselves in the subconscious to work out the teaching of the truth in themselves for the best, whereby they automatically create a connection to the disseminator of the teaching and even to his or her place of residence. This is very interesting. And your answer also gives me a question that has been put to me for a long time. Why all the non-fallible ones of our group feel attracted to our center again and again, despite all sorts of evils, etc. But now I wonder what it must be like, or what happens when a teaching is negative. This is also easy to explain. If there is a negative doctrine, then the difference is that there is no self-generated connection to the doctrine disseminator and to his place of residence, but a compulsion that is based on fear and terror, namely that death and corruption arise in one's own body if the false doctrine disseminator is not obeyed in his or her orders. But the same also happens in the case of fanaticism or faith. So you see that the difference lies in the fact that in a true teaching of the truth, a voluntary connectedness is produced, whereas in a teaching of the untruth, or simply of the negative, a coercion and an obsession become decisive. Thank you. I have long wanted to hear this explanation. I never knew how to express myself correctly in this regard. But what would happen if you were to fully release your swinging waves? It would happen that all of the Earth humans, who would be hit by our swinging waves, would only orient themselves towards us, whereby they would become completely foreign in their world and would no longer be able to endure. Oh well, now I understand, but what about me? You are beyond these concerns. Well then, tell me now what Quetzal wants to explain to me. First, I have to explain to you that you should stay outdoors more often, especially late at night, alone. This is why the signer we are looking for are very shy and will certainly only turn to you if you are alone. So this means that you often go outside alone at night, a bit away from the buildings. If a contact is established, you should inform us about it. Your wish is my command. I do not issue an order to you. You are not even set for fun today. Sure, but neither are you, because your problem is bothering you. Unfortunately, you are right about that, because you know, everything just does not go out of my mind. Last Friday, the dog tore up a chicken, and the next day, another one. When I wanted to take it away from him in the doghouse, I saw something in his eyes that I once saw with an attacking tiger in East India.
namely such a strange yellow fire which flitted in his eyes. This fire in his eyes then let me act as it just happened. I thought thereby of the fact that the animal could perhaps still go after a human being, as it already bit our children in Hinwill at different times, although they actually were guilty for it themselves, because they had probably teased the dog. But since Sunday, I am no longer sure if I really did the right thing and if I was wrong. And since then, you are naturally very sorry, which I can understand very well. I am also able to feel everything very well, which does not change what is happening, but which is clear to you. I am also very saddened by the incident, but in the name of Quetzal, I must explain to you that your action was correct. He observed the whole process and therefore analyzed the animal, discovering that it was not sick in any way, but was suffering from periodic confusion that released in it a desire to kill, which is why it tore up the poultry, as you say. According to Quetzal's analysis, there would also have been the possibility that the animal, which he described as at times capricious, would also have attacked humans over time precisely out of this capriciousness. From this you see that you have unnecessarily burdened yourself with whether your action was correct or not. Quite logically, you obeyed your subconscious and acted according to its statement what was of correctness, which you could not fathom, however, because you thought about these things with too much emotional emphasis. But now be clear that your action was of correctness, for if you had not acted in this form, you would have suffered greater damage, possibly even damage to the human beings. Then I really was not wrong, and so I just have to digest the rest of the problem. Sure, but you have to master this part yourself, because I cannot help you. But now, my dear friend, my time is over and I have to go. Goodbye. Take care, girl. I will certainly manage it. Sure, and remember, you call me when you come in contact with the Signers. Sure, by the way, I am supposed to give you all my love. And what I wanted to ask, how am I supposed to do the time management for those who need more or less time? Especially with Claire, it is a difficult case. I will give you detailed instructions on this next week. Goodbye, and greetings to everyone.